In a world where millions are in need of food, clean water, security, medical care, just to name a few of the most pressing issues facing humanity, why is one of the top agendas of the West via the United Nations and other international groups and programs furthering homosexuality? President Obama issued a directive to all U.S. government agencies that engage in international activities to make advancing LGBT rights a top priority. We have done more in the two and a half years that I've been in here than the previous 43 presidents to uphold that principle. The Obama administration defends the human rights of LGBT people as part of our comprehensive human rights policy and as a priority of our foreign policy. It is a systematic attempt to change the culture of nations. For us, family stands at the heart of everything we do. We live for the family. Gay rights are human rights, and human rights are gay rights. We do not want any discrimination against anybody under any condition, whether sexual or otherwise. But we have to state clearly and forcefully that this concept stands against everything we stand for in Africa. And because we have rights, governments are bound to protect them. The issue of sexual orientation in the United Nations Human Rights System has not yet mustered consensus. All the previous attempts to integrate sexual orientation into existing universally recognized human rights have not been successful. They will try to do it via implementing new laws in a country which are tied to much needed loans or aid through movies, books, news, songs, etc. Recently, there was an announcement um, both by the by David Cameron and uh, by President Obama that you know they, they are willing to cut off aid to countries who do not recognize LGBT rights. Now we want to object to that as just being manipulation. Don't write manipulation to get us to accept something, a lifestyle which is um, proven to be scientifically unhealthy, a lifestyle which is contrary to the religion and cultures of most of our people. Okay, so what we see is the LGBT agenda being pushed uh, in, 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 you know, like a carrot stick for aid money. You want aid money? then you must uh, change your laws, these issues of gays uh, and uh, transvites, transsexuals. This is a new form of imperialism, I must say. But the goal is all the same, to convince people that what all the monotheistic religions have taught us from the very beginning is wrong. God says that homosexuality is wrong, but the West says it is right. And if you don't listen to them, that you will pay the price and be labeled as being backwards. They want us to accept this type of lifestyle as being a healthy and wholesome lifestyle. One has to seriously question the intentions of President Obama and the other presidents um, across the world. These Western countries' agenda entails total disdain for the culture of various countries. However, the world must abide by the West's culture or they will be punished. It's deception. There's no human rights based on behavior. All people are equal, but not all types of behavior. Through various methods, this is being done in various countries. On a moral issue, on an issue that uh, you, we are, you know, you, we are forcing governments, African governments, now to go into the village and explain to that people, you're getting money to build that borehole, you're getting money to, you know, bring water or electricity into your community simply because you're now going to allow uh, Jane over here to marry Mildred. Do. But what we are emphasizing is that maintain your way, we are way of life while we maintain our own. Well, the end result will be deconstruction of 
what we of the family system and the family structure in Jamaica. The third and perhaps most challenging issue arises when people cite religious or cultural values as a reason to violate or not to protect the human rights of LGBT citizens. It's against Christian values. I want to you know our Christianity differently. It's not like you put on a, a coat and you can take it overnight. And to come in and to say, we must change our laws. It's actually to come in and say, what we told you about Christianity, what we told you about uh, Islam is not true. You know, it gets into the educational system. It gets to the point of where criticism of the lifestyle then becomes an offense. Once you say anything remotely critical of the lifestyle, in these countries, there is a problem. And so I'm concerned from my own country, which is a highly religious country. You know, I'm concerned about the, the impact that this could have on freedom of speech. I believe countries have got a right to protect themselves, to protect their citizens from these influences that are not of Africa, that are not of our communities. I was shocked to realize that some months ago in Pakistan, the U.S. the U.S. ambassador there announced a gay party, you know, a party for all local homosexuals. I felt that that was an affront to the Pakistani people, and I just wondered how insensitive could how could one get? You know, isn't that just a total disregard? of the culture of a people. And of course, in the Islamic Republic of Iran, it's no exception to this type of attempts at cultural invasion. In the latest attempt for homosexuality to be given the green light, even in Islamic countries, American-Iranian singer Gugush has made a music video encouraging homosexuality. We must not be fooled by these disguised attempts in the names of humanity, in the names of human rights. What has happened, Gugush, that all of a sudden you have gotten on the homosexual bandwagon and for a woman who has had many husbands, it is indeed ironic that you at 63 years of age would promote a concept that was even foreign to you not so long ago. Is this really a subject close to your heart? has this been dictated by others for you to do? The cultural invasion attempt at promoting something so far from what God wants and normalcy cannot and will not be allowed to succeed in the Islamic Republic of Iran and hopefully other countries.